Teu! <risos> lovely people and welcome back to a brand new video it has been such a long time since i last said that and i've just realized the color difference between my hands and my face and i've got something in my eye anyway it has been such a long time since i last said that it's been literally over a month since i've sat down to film a video i have mixed feelings about being back i am like a tad bit nervous because whenever i don't film for a while i just lose a lot of confidence confidence i oh my god that's what I mean. I lose a lot of confidence in front of the camera. I am back today with a haul. We all love a great haul and this haul, it's got some of the cutest, just most gorgeous spring bits in and I'm just so, so excited. As soon as I place this order, well, half of it's off online stores and half is from like in-person shops. Is that what they're called? Like actual shops, like human real oh, i don't know what i'm talking about but i've been shopping today did i take it too far again have i got about one pound 30 left in my bank account because of this yeah but it's fine i've been waiting for this day for the longest time but of course i'm going to show you guys what i got my nose is so itchy today and i don't know why there will also be trying clips of all of the pieces i'm going to style them for you guys because i am your gal and i've got your back for spring fashion but i don't know when i'm actually going to film them because if i'm being completely honest i have had such a busy day it probably isn't that much of a busy day for absolutely anyone else but for me i'm I'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you because i'm quite proud of myself basically i got up this morning at about half eight i haven't seen that time of day since probably september i have been to a university open day i have been shopping in town and now i'm sat filming a video that i've been putting off doing for about a month yeah it's been a productive day so i'm ready to crash and burn i have got a mixture of things from sheen we all know Sheen. Sheen is a common place in probably most people's wardrobe right now. I also have something from H&M. Please sponsor me. You're my favourite shop in the whole wide world. And from Primark. We've all missed Primark. If you're saying you haven't missed Primark, I'm sorry, but you're lying. You are actually lying. Which one to start with? I don't know which to start with. I've decided to start with Sheen. So, I always go a bit overboard with Sheen because everything's so cheap and then it all adds up. The first thing I'm going to show you from Sheen is actually the jeans that I picked up because I'm going to style them with most of the outfit so I might as well show them first. Just a quick one with the jeans. I have worn them today and the white jeans. I am going to throw them in the wash after I film this video. I've been eyeing up white jeans for the longest time and I thought, you know what, it's spring, summer 2021 and this year we're going all out with the colours. These are the jeans. I'm quite embarrassed to show them because they are really dirty from the knees down. They are just these plain white wash jeans. They're kind of flared. You'll see probably on the try and clip. If you're kind of like this shape i don't know what shape that was meant to be if you have like thin waist not so thin bottom if you know what i'm saying she and jeans are really good for you they also have this like line detailing down the front i don't know if you can even see but they have this detailing down the front which i think is like, a nice little added extra i didn't think they were going to be flared i thought they were going to be more like straight wide like jeans but they are flared and at first i put them on and i was like Ooh, this is a bit different for me but honestly it did grow on me they fit perfectly in all the right places for size reference i got these in a 12 to 14 which is classes a large so i've got a bone to pick with sheen again a 12 to 14 it's not a large in terms of length they are quite long i'm 5 6 so i'm kind of in the middle i'm not too small i'm not too tall and they're quite long on me hence why they look like this at the bottom i've also got makeup on them i'm not sure how there's makeup on my knees you tell me. The next thing I picked up from Sheen I also wore today. I've got no self-control. I was going to wait till I'd filmed the haul to wear these, but it didn't go to plan. This is the cutest thing you'll ever see. Are you ready? It is basically a little sweater vest and it's got strawberries on. What else could you want in life? It's this gorgeous sage green colour, which I didn't think I'd suit. I thought it'd be a little bit draining on me because pastel colours don't really agree with my skin tone. But oh my God, I put this on and I felt so pretty. It just complimented me so much. If I do say so myself, am I okay? I think I got this in a medium, which is classed as a 12. Possibly because I wanted it to be like quite not oversized but i didn't want it to be tight fitted it's perfect it's a really nice length and it just looks so cute especially with them white jeans and a little t-shirt underneath and i don't know why i'm telling you this because you're going to see that on the try and clip anyway <laughs> The next thing 
is another little top. I feel like Sheen are really good for like little cute tops just to like throw on and like make an outfit slightly more exciting, do you know what I mean? I picked up this really, really cute top with some clouds on. Now this is so cute and this fits so nice. With this top and a few other pieces that I picked up, I have made the vibiest outfit that like, you better be ready to see on my Instagram. My private, private story on Snapchat, I've seen this outfit already and it went down a treat with them. They all seem to love it. So yeah, keep an eye out on my Instagram. Perfect length. My dad doesn't think so. I tried it on. He was like, that's a bit short, isn't it? No, Andy. Final piece of clothing I got from Sheen was another top. As I said, I like tops from Sheen. And all of these outfits kind of like go together, apart from the strawberry top. But I kind of planned all these outfits together in like colour ways. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to stop pretending I know what I'm on about because I really, really don't. But it is this top, which looks really wide, doesn't it? The detailing on this little top is the cutest ever. It's got little blue and pit. Pe Where is the purple? There's no purple. Baby blue, oh my god, Lauren. Baby blue and yellow flowers, and then it's got this gorgeous white lace underwiring. It's got the same lace around the top. And the best thing about this is that it's got adjustable straps. It's like the perfect amount of crop as well. Sorry, Dad. I'm a respectable young lady, it is okay. <laughs> Moving on to accessories, I got really excited about this. I got another bucket hat, guys. I blame Lorraine for this. Lorraine, I swear, has bought every single colour of every hat and pair of sunglasses on Sheen. And it just made me really jealous. And I was like, okay, I need another bucket hat now. But I picked up this bucket hat, which just resembles a cloud. Now, I really don't suit hats, but honestly, how could you say no to this? And this pieces together perfectly with the top I showed you before. I've just closed the bag instead of opened it. Well done, Loz. It pairs perfectly with the cloud top. Then the next thing also goes with this outfit and you're gonna think I'm actually insane. I am really unhinged, I'm not gonna deny that. But it's something I'd like to keep behind closed doors most of the time. But now we're letting loose. I also bought this really cute bag. I had this bag in white and I just really wanted it in every single colour ever because it's such good material, such good quality and it actually fits so much in it. I don't know how it does it but Mary Poppins is honestly quaking. And I thought this would look really cute with that outfit, like the white jeans, the cloud top, the cloud hat and this looks like the sun. You'll see when I put the outfit on all together what I'm on about, I hope. I am obsessed with this hat. Like, I keep looking at it in the viewfinder and I'm just in love. I also picked up two pairs of earrings because she and earrings and she and accessories in general are just unreal. This is the first pair. Can you let me take them out the packet? The first pair of earrings are these ones and these are adorable. I'm obsessed with these. Anything floral, once again, Lauren has to have, but I feel like these are really groovy, you know? The second pair of earrings I picked up, I'm gonna take these out the bag as well because you can't see them. They're quite similar to some that I've got in today, just these gold hoops, apart from the fact they're a bit more chunky and they have little white flowers on. Bit of a theme, isn't there? You know, one trick pony over here. I think flowers are my only personality trait at this point. And final piece that I got from Sheen was a belt because, oh my God, all of my belts are huge on me now. I keep having to make like smaller holes. It just doesn't look very flattering. So I picked up a new belt. However, there's only one size on Sheen for this belt and I don't really understand how that works. This one fits me. I haven't even shown you the bloody belt. So it's this transparent, whoa, you can't even see it. It's this transparent belt, which I thought would be a lot better. I feel like a black belt is a bit too harsh, but then there's no point in buying all mad colors of belt because then you're limited to what you wear it with. So I thought this belt would be perfect because you can wear it with literally anything. And it's got this gold heart buckle, which is a really cute detail. I don't know if it's meant to smell like that, but it's got a really strong scent. Quick intermission between shops. I bet that she knows Billy Joe Cause you played her uptown girl In between the chorus and the verse Primark! Primark! I didn't get that much. Why is the silicone... What's it called? Oven glove in the Primark bag. I do not know. First thing I picked up from Primark, I swear there was more in this bag before. Oh no, ignore me. I bought some home stuff from Primark as well, but I'm not going to show this in that haul. I'm not going to show that in this haul even because that is for another haul that's going to be coming probably in... Not sure. Ignore me. So I think there's only two things from Primark then. No, there's not. I've got some underwear. I don't think anyone wants to see my underwear though, do they? Or do they? 
First thing I picked up from Primark, I have a love-hate relationship with it. I have tried this one on and I don't know what I'm feeling. I feel like I could make it work, but it's not the most flattering thing in the world. I feel like it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea either, but it's so, so cute. It's a very figure-hugging, elastic-y material and it just makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. And I got this in a size 10 and it was £10. You'll see how it fits and stuff on the try-on clip, but I'm just not sure. Maybe I'll keep it and wear like a oversized baggy jumper over it. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I got some socks. We all love Primark socks. I feel like everyone's been dying for Primark to open so we can get some socks that actually match. I know I have. I know that my mum has been stealing my socks and I'm on to I mean, I still hear socks, but she's the mum. Do you know what I mean? You know what? We're all friends here. I am going to show the underwear. Actually, I'm not going to show all of it. I'm going to show you one underwear set that I got because I feel like it's quite a PG. That makes it sound like all oh, my other underwear is not PG. <laughs> this is more like a comfy... Oh, I can feel myself going red underneath this foundation. I picked up this underwear set, which I feel like you cut. It looks so pale. It's like this gorgeous yellow colour in person, but it's not showing up that colour on camera. I'm obviously not going to do a try on clip for this. Don't worry, Dad. But I just think it's really, really cute. And I have this in so many colours. And I went in and it had those like springy colours. Yet it is a size small. I do not have much to give at the moment. I probably never will. Because I feel like I've stopped developing now. Life goes on. There's more important matters in this world. This was £5 for the set, which I think is amazing. And it's in a small. I'm not embarrassed at all. I'm not going to show you the rest. Let's move on. H&M, my favourite shop ever. If you didn't hear before, H&M and you're watching, sponsor me. Take me seriously when I say that I would have bought the whole of H&M if I had that amount of funding in my bank account. They are killing the spring game at the minute. They have a whole dedicated section to like wildflowers and like ditzy, pretty minimalist flowers. That is what gets to my heart. The first thing is just like a casual, comfy thing. This zip up hoodie, but it's like cropped and it is so, so soft. It's this gorgeous colour, which is very, very in this year. I feel like pastels in general are in, which isn't great for me because I don't suit pastels, but is that gonna stop me? Is that gonna stop me from living my pastel dream as if I do suit it? Because it's really not gonna stop me. I got this in a large, I wouldn't say it's very large though. Probably didn't need a jumper style thing in this colour because I have got two hoodies and a jumper in this shade of lilac. And if anyone's got anything negative to say, I don't wanna hear it. <laughs> I saved the best piece till last because I like to keep people guessing. It is this, oh, it is so pretty. I got a bit excited and now I need to drink. Health queen. <laughs> So the much anticipated item is actually a play suit. And I'm not really a play suit kind of person. Like I feel like they're not really my kind of I don't know what the words I'm looking for is. But this play suit is gorgeous. I'll show you the print first because it's gonna be impossible to show until it's on the try-on clip. Just look at it. I don't know what half of these flowers are, but they're really cute. Is that a daffodil? No, I can't say anything yet. I'm not gonna say anything. But it's this gorgeous like linen-y material and it's not too thin, it's not too thick and it's like really airy for the summer. It's got this elasticated wrist wristband. Waistband. It's got an elasticated waistband. It almost looks like dungarees. You'll see on the try and clip. My favourite part is that it's backless. It's like crisscrossy at the back. Again, impossible to see. You'll see on the try and clip. I'm not selling this at all, am I? I'm really not good at explaining things. Yeah, I'll let the try and clip do its business. <laughs> This is gorgeous. The whole collection is so stunning. They've got like this pattern on all different shapes of dresses. So there's some maxi length, there's some midi dresses, there's play suits, even tops. And it's just gorgeous. I would have bought the whole range if I could. So that is everything in today's haul. I feel like I filmed this really fast. I don't normally film things this fast. So I don't know what this footage is going to be. I've been running on nervous energy for this whole video because I don't even know why. Like, I've missed talking to the camera so much and that sounds really, really stupid because I am literally sat here talking to myself on a bit of metal. But it's honestly, like, the most calm thing ever. I just love doing it so, so much. And I feel like I'm talking to, like, you guys. You behind that screen. Yeah, you. I see you. I just, I don't even know. We are all besties on this channel. And if you are new to this channel and you are not yet subscribed, why don't you subscribe? 
be my bestie. I have decided that I'm not gonna pressure myself to do a video per week. Some weeks I might do two videos, some weeks I might not do any videos. Like, I'm just gonna do it when I feel ready. I don't wanna put too much pressure on myself and like completely burn myself out again because I love doing YouTube and I don't want YouTube to become something that's like a chore to me. But as always, I just wanna say the biggest thank you ever to anyone who has stuck by me and watches my videos, anyone who is new to the channel, anyone that likes my videos, comments on my videos to give me a little hi. I love that. Please do say hi in the comments because I love reading through the comments and being like, hey. <laughs> thank you so, so much. Like, no one understands how much it means to me and to see that people enjoy it and look forward to videos. It just melts my heart. Like, it genuinely, genuinely does. And I just love you all so much. I wish I could give you all a hug. I, who do I think I am? Like, actually, who do I think I am? I mean, I'm Lauren Worthy. I don't know about you. I have a list of people I'd rather be, if I'm being completely honest. But yeah, thank you so, so much. I love you all the world and back. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what your favourite piece was. Let me know how you're enjoying the new restrictions. So much love for you all and I shall hopefully see you in my next video.